There's a nice headshot. Let's do this. Wow, I can't believe that didn't wake anybody else up. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. Uh, all right, so in this episode, we are going to hit some wilderness POIs. Um, as you can see, I'm camped out on the top of a four skull um, POI. Look at that wandering horde down there. Gotta go kill all these guys for some XP. Um, and we're going to attempt this. Uh, this is going to be incredibly dangerous for us to do because, um, we're still in cloth armor, <laughs> except for our, except for our football helmet. Uh, so we're going to have to be really, really, really careful doing this, but I think we can do it. If, if we are careful, we're going to employ cobblestone, uh, blocks for, you know, blocking doors and stuff as needed. Um, uh, and we're going to change those to cube frames too, so we can shoot through them. But uh, what I did was I was going to spend the night at Ranger Station Charlie, and then I got to thinking, well, you know what? If a wandering horde or something comes through and they detect me at nighttime, they're just going to tear the crap out of the place again because I just repaired it. So I jumped on the bike and rode all the way north to this POI. I was going to go ahead and camp out on the roof and then do that one. Then I got to thinking, well, we really should actually be hitting all of the uh, southern POIs because we're in the southeast corner of the map. So that way we can kind of systematically go through them. Now, it's not my intention to loot every single POI on this 10 kilometer map. That would just, that would take way too long, but you know, we'll, we'll hit as many of them as it makes sense to do. So I came back down the road and camped out on the, the roof of this POI instead. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this party started here. So we'll pick up our blocks and I didn't want to, you know, run the, we really need to kill those guys. I didn't want to run the risk of, you know, waking anybody up in the POI. So I just nerd pulled all the way up onto the roof to hunker down for the night. Now, the other thing I'm going to do too is um, I'm going to set up a drop chest because I want to make sure we are not at all encumbered. We're going to need every advantage that we can get to, to make this work. So let's go ahead and set up a chest here. And, you know, we'll, we're probably going to loot more stuff than we'll have room to take home with us. But, you know, we'll just kind of pick and choose what's important for that. We also have, you know, fairly limited ammo. So, again, this is just, there, there are several reasons why this is going to be a challenge uh, to do. But I think, again, if we, if we play our cards right and have a little bit of luck, uh, we should be able to pull it off. Don't ever forget, you guys, that we are playing um, this on insane difficulty, uh, too. So... You know, always take that into account. And our zombies are always on nightmare speed. Okay, so anything we don't need to take in there with us, um, we're going to keep in here. We, yeah, we should probably keep our food and drink with us. Um, our MO moving forward, too, by the way, is that we're going to wear, um, we're going to wear agility goggles when we're in combat. We'll switch to luckies when we're looting, you know, significant loot, like end loot, not basic loot. And then the nerdy glasses, which I currently have in the bicycle. The bicycle's already full of stuff too, by the way. Um, we'll use on when we're doing construction and probably on Horde Night, um, you know, for the extra XP. I just have to remember to switch those, those glasses out, which I will probably forget to do on multiple occasions, but I'll do the best that I can. Uh, with that. Get that guy bleeding up here. Alright. So let's finish putting stuff in here. We don't need to carry any of that. Um, we should probably hang on to those just in case, you know, our, our knife breaks and we're right in the, uh, in the middle of the POI. Uh, I want to keep... Uh, we don't need the hammer with us. Well, you know what, though? The hammer's going to repair faster than the stone axe, so I think we're going to keep the hammer with us. I don't care about harvesting resources like cement for this particular situation because we just don't have the room, uh, you know, for all those extra resources. Uh, we want to keep this with us, of course, for, for upgrading these blocks. And we should always keep cube frames uh, or wood blocks with us, too. It's just uh, a good idea. Uh, so that gives us a, a, a decent amount of space here. 
um, you know, to deal with things as as needed. I'm going to keep the splints in here. If we if we happen to break our leg, we'll just have to come back out and grab those. Okay, so um, let's run over here real quick and kill this wandering horde first, just because we'll get lots of XP. Let's do it. Okay, I think that clears out the enemies. Let's uh, go ahead and loot this army truck. Oh, looks like there's another one. Nice. We can make 10 more iron arrows to make up for uh, the ones that we've used up. We're going to check cornmeal. We're going to check that. Um, I think I have leather in my motorcycle. Or not my motorcycle, my bicycle. So let's... um. Yeah, let's hit, see if we can find 10 bird's nest, uh, or not 10 bird's nest, but bird's nest to get 10 feathers. Uh, we can also kill a chicken too, that would help. So that gave us, holy crap, 23 feathers? <laughs> Jeez, okay. Wow, that's a lot of feathers for one chicken. We'll take them. All right, I'm going to check the rest of those, and I'm going to check the bones too. Wow. Wow. All right, let's go put some of this stuff back, and then we're going to head on in. Are these arrows? No, those are the bones and stuff that I threw out. Let's see what's in this pickup truck. There's another vehicle over yonder, too. All right, open this up, and... Oh. thought I had leather in there, but I guess I don't. Do I, did I put it in here? I did, okay. We'll put the, yeah, that stuff in there too. We don't need to take that with us. It looks like our two pipe weapons. Oh, you know what? We should, we should probably carry some pipes just to repair the this guy in particular. Let's grab Edgar here too. And we'll check this car. And there's a stump. We'll check that for honey. No honey. Mailbox. Why is the mailbox over here instead of along the road? <laughs> I bet that pissed off the postman. Uh, nice. Poke crafting. Okay, cool. We'll take that. Anything else significant up here to prelude? Doesn't look like it. Is that the way we're supposed to go in? I thought we would be climbing up this trellis over here. Oh, no, that trellis doesn't go anywhere. Okay. I just noticed that kind of out of the corner of my eye last night, so I thought that's where we would start. Oh, well, you know what? We have honey on us, so we're good. You know what, though? I'm going to keep it in here because if we do get infected, we don't have to take it immediately. So that gives us two rows of free space. All right, you guys. I think we're ready to get this party started. Boy, oh, boy, this is going to be... Uh, I'm a little bit concerned. We'll put it that way <laughs> about how this is going to go. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I have, we have, I rather, I have done this house before in older versions of the game. I think too, what I would like to do here is let's, let's give ourselves a quick and easy escape path out of here. So I'm going to bust this up and we're going to put a ladder. Well, actually with our parkour, can we make that jump? I don't think oh ooh, man that's so close just about can but not quite so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make can we make this jump man one more point in parkour and we'd be able to do that all right no big deal let's just make one ladder and now we can easily escape um if and when the shit hits the fan no what's there's no if about it <laughs> when the shit hits the fan all right Let's just make sure there's nothing else that might obstruct us from getting out of here quickly. All right. We're going to do fairly conservative looting as we go through. So anything that's like a resource, we're not going to grab that. Um, man, it's going to suck to leave all that cement behind. Hold on a second, though. 
Do I have cement already? If I do, then we might as well grab it. Of course, that, that means we ought to also carry a shovel with us. You know what? No, I'm not going to do it. I mean, we have a forge. We can make cement. I know it's takes a while, but under the circumstances, we need to go light here. So we're not going to do cement. All right. I think we'll be okay in this room. How did I miss that? I'm gonna I'm gonna check trash. Uh, but, but yeah, but I'm I'm gonna be selective about what I pull out of it because you know we can sometimes you can find some pretty good stuff in trash. Uh, no, all that stuff is easily obtained by salvaging and mining. So. Extra torch there. I got somebody's attention. Okay. And there's these are normal Zeeks, or this is a normal Zeke. So as, as long as they're normals, I'm not too worried about blocking the door. It's when we get a big group of them or we start seeing particularly nasty ones that we're going to want to Okay, she did. Um, I don't think we're going to take plastic. Again, we can pretty easily come by it now. Uh, let's take a drink. The other thing we have to be mindful of is we don't have a huge supply of food and drink, so... Um, yeah, we just have to be, again, as conservative as is reasonable. I don't see anything in there. That's a Zombo closet, which fortunately didn't have any Zeeks in it. Let's get all these triggers out of the way. There's possibly a zombie behind there. That might have been the one we aggroed. there's anybody in there but there's probably somebody right behind the corner here oh it's a biker okay let's just start getting some bleeds on him and get that repaired back up I don't want him to hit us because he hits hard His bleed, when his bleeds wear off, he'll probably pop a hole in the door so we can get him again. Well, so much for not wanting him to hit us. All right, you know what? Screw you. Let's keep this door in good condition, though, because it's a fallback location for us. We took a pretty big thump there, but I think we're going to... We have to be conservative with our meds, too, so we'll just let that come back because we do have one point in... Um, whatever that health thing is normally i'd take the paper but again conservative here okay i see i can't tell i think that's businessman maybe oh no that's yeah i think that's businessman okay let's see if we can get a sneaky sneak off on him okay let's grab this bag we're definitely taking all of that. Nice little sneak kill with our Kniffy there. All right, what's going on over here? Hmm, I don't know. Secret passage of some sort. a duffel bag or a backpack up there. Okay. Knife guy. 
Chuck that. We have we have wood already, so we might as well harvest this. Oh, are we going to find a burner in here? They're so, yep, they're so hard to see. So, there's something going on back here. Maybe it's that passageway that we saw earlier, but I didn't see any loot in it. Look at that, a military chest. Our, ah, shoot. Well, you know what? That's a hundred coin right there. These are not worth anything, really, to speak of. Okay. Well, that could have been better, but at least uh, we know it's there for if we do this POI again later. It's been a long time since I've done this POI, so I don't remember that much about it. I do remember where one one trap's going to be, though. Well, that's where we came in at. All right, you know what might behoove us to do is... Looks like I left my pick back in the container. Um, I'll take the, eh, I'm going to take the potato seed too, just because seeds are, seeds are hard to come by in Alpha 21. I mean, com compared to the way they used to be anyway. Uh, let's scrap that and we'll take that. Okay, let's break through here. So that way we can very quickly get through here if uh, we get rushed. 5,000 hit points, no thank you. All right, the other thing I'm going to do here, too, is I'm going to put a hatch down. That'll just buy us uh, another second or two. Let's do a quick drop off. Okay, here we go. I already looked at that stuff. Oh, that's hacks. That's such hacks. Let's see what's in here. Nice. Uh, don't think we'll take any of the rest of that. Take that. Alright, there's another sleeper really close by because I can hear it. Maybe in there. Why don't we just temporarily do this to buy ourselves a couple of seconds? We got a chemistry bench in here. Um, I don't think I'll open that garage because we have a, a better escape route by just going back down these stairs real quick. Okay, let's loot this. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I forgot to do the seventeen cotton that we needed for that bed that we made. So there's eleven. So we still, I still have to pick six more cotton. Completely forgot about that. Um, we should probably take that Kim bench apart. I'm not sure what we get from that, though. If it's nothing significant, I'm just going to throw it out. But let's deal with the Zeeks first. There's got to be a sleeper or, or three in here. There's 
Ooh. All right, let's see if we can one shot Darlene. She's faster than janitor. Or maybe one shot both of them. I'll take it. Is that it? Looks like, okay, cool. Where does this go? It's a locked door. Let's check the trash. Nope. Don't care about that stuff. And I just want to see what we get for a wrench in this. Hey, iron ingots. That, that makes it worth it right there. Okay, we'll keep that stuff with us. Um, and uh, just drop it off in the chest the next time we go out. All right, I believe we're finished in here. Okay, we've got another door. Let's get that reinforced, see what's in here. Those are worth taking. Uh, those are not lootable shoes, huh? Okay, now well, we got some leather out of them. Wakey, wakey. Or not. That's a spider, I think. Yeah, that's a spider. All right. Triple tap. Okay, see what's in the desk. Mm. That's actually going to be worth a little bit of bank if we repair it. Does this... Um, I think we just need plastic to repair that, right? I don't want to burn a repair kit on it. Okay, we're definitely taking that. We'll take one of these to just top off our stone axe here. Let's grab that and uh, check these bookshelves. Bows and shoddies, assault rifles, harvesting tools, pipe shotgun, shotgun quality four. Uh, oh, nice. We can make an AK now. It's a crap level, but we'll just keep working on that. And, you know, once we get, probably once we can make, I'd say, a green AK, then we'll replace it with this blue pipe um, assault rifle. Ooh, look at that. Do I, I don't have any lockpicks, do I? Hmm. I, you know what? I've got that pick, that iron pick. Um, it might be worth it. Oh, I should have wrenched that chair, darn it. It might be worth it for us to go grab that and just break into this safe. Let's do it. This does take a repair kit. All right. I'm just going to scrap for the plastic then. If we were back in town, I'd hang on to it, but we're not. Oh, we do have four lockpicks. Hmm. Did we loot those? I don't know. I don't remember. No, we wanted to keep pipes with us for repairing. Okay. Well, let's try the lock picks, and if we fail them all, then we'll use the pick as a as a backup. Look at that first try. All right, let's put these on. All right, that'll definitely come in handy um, for going into the snow biome. Sure, I like it. It works. All right, let's put our agility glasses back on and continue on here. Normally I'd wrench the computer, but not this time. So that door's locked, this one's unlocked. That door's locked. Second wants us to go through there. If I remember right, I think there's I think we're gonna get a big ambush here. I think. 
So let's get ready to go with that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a big ambush. Okay, there's a wife Bible right over there. We can just barely see his head. Business guy. Okay. Let's take out business guy first. Shh. Let's see if we can get. Uh, is that Ronnie McDonnie? No, that's Darlene, I think. We need to get a good. Solid headshot on Hawaii Five-O. Let's put these here just to buy ourselves a second or two. There's a nice headshot. Let's do this. Wow, I can't believe that didn't wake anybody else up. I think more zombies come out of here, if I remember right. All right, let's grab this bag and these books. Gotta love the stealth builds, guys. Um, that's... The helmet light definitely is worth hanging on to. To put on something else that we can sell. Um, but let's just keep it in that helmet right now. Because otherwise it's going to take up another slot. Salvage tools. Lots of leather in here. Uh, this should be water. I don't know why the alcohol cases don't give us beer. It doesn't make sense to me. But they don't. So that door is locked. It's uh, medical. Nice. We might actually need those four bites. I'm going to chuck the paper and the one piece of plastic. Okay, let's proceed. Is it noon already? My goodness. Yeah, we. It might take us all day to do this house, but if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Pretty sure, like I said, that we're going to get some more Zeeks coming out of there. Oh, that's our escape area. Yeah, look at that. He's dead. Can we pop him through here? All right. We're going to take these skill points here. And we're throwing those right into agility. Now, with our glasses, that gives us an effective level 7, which means that we can now... Uh, on our next point, do Whirlwind and uh, I think it was Run and Gun. And then as long as we have those glasses on, those those um, effects will be in place. Cool. Okay. Uh, there might be one more Zombo in here. Let's clear this out. Uh, not in here. I think we're good. Excuse me. Okay. There's a zombie closet right there. Is there anything we want to loot in here before we move into the kitchen? All right. We're hungry again. You know, if food gets really bad, we could always run back up to Ranger Station Charlie and cook some food up for us because we now have that as an outpost. Yeah, 
don't really see anything in here worth looting. I'm expecting a zombie in this closet here. Yep. Don't know who that is, but let's fight him back here so we don't wake anybody else up. If it's a feral, we'll close the door and block him. If it's a normal, we'll just take him out. I wonder why they have such a hard, hard time opening those closets. Come on, man. We don't have all day. I think that's Tom Clark. I think there might be somebody back. Well, you know what? Let's just go. Yeah, there it is. Alright, we should be able to take both of these guys on. We got tagged, but not, not too bad. Okay, let's uh, loot the kitchen real quick. We need food. Uh, normally I'd save that for tuna fish gravy, but or tuna fish gravy toast. But we need food now, so we're just going to eat it. Same thing for the peas. Normally I'd save that for shepherd's pie. There's a trash up here. Uh, we'll take that. Don't care about the rest of that stuff. Don't think there's anything there. All right, let's look at these cabinets real quick.